Hi guys, we are doing test number 12, quick test, English file, elementary. Let's get started. So, number one, have you bought any new clothes recently? Do you buy? Did you buy? Okay, did you buy? We're talking about the past, so we can't use it here. Do you buy? We're talking about present simple. Do you often buy? Do you sometimes buy? Is not good here. So, have you bought is a very good option here. Have you bought any new clothes recently and remember guys that use recently when you are talking about something that happened not a long time ago and it is relevant for now so this is present perfect present perfect number two what your favorite time of year so this is a general question just what your favorite what were what were Okay, where doesn't good uh, doesn't work good here? Why? Because what were your favorite? And here it should be in the plural. What were your favorite jeans? What were your favorite films? Like plural. Do you understand? Plural. But here we need to use singular. Yeah, time. So where is not good here? What's and what are of course what's okay apostrophe is in a wrong way but it's okay so what's your favorite time of year number three have Gregory and Ivana to Italy no they are in Spain so they are in Spain all right so whenever you have two questions like this you have a question and a reply you always have to read both of them so have Gregory and Ivana have have they gone to Italy okay uh, since we have have okay so that's like indication that we need to use um, present perfect because when you have have yes so you need to use verb 3 for present perfect plus verb 3 have you been there have you gone there so have Gregory and Ivana g gone to Italy no, they are in Spain. Okay, so can we use been here? What do you think? I think we can't use been here. Why? Because they, we, we, we can use been when we are talking about the place that we have been to and then came back. So, for example, let's say we have uh, a country, just let's say that's Spain this is Spain right and I live in in the USA so I could say I have been to Spain I, it means I was there and I came back and I say hey guys I've been I've been to Spain and now I came back so that's been all right but in this case have Gregory and Ivana been to Italy no gone to Italy no they haven't gone to Italy they are here in Spain so I think gone works better. Number four, have you ever been to India? Have you ever? We are talking about your experience. Have you ever been to India? Yes, we pa -pa -pa, there three years ago. So to me, this, is so, this sounds really nice because we have ago, three years ago, exact time when we were somewhere. So this is past simple, nothing else, just simple, past simple. Yes, we went there three years ago. We went there three years ago. All right, the next one. How many languages can languages, languages can you speak? How many what? How many languages? Then we need to have an auxiliary verb. It, it would be can. How many languages can you speak? How many so usually we need to use how many plus some noun and auxiliary verb. How many people do you know? How many books have you read? Something like this. So how many languages can you speak? Number six, Bruno gone home. Okay, here we have gone and gone. This is verb three. So I think it's going to be present perfect help plus verb three. Has Bruno gone home? Is Bruno gone home? Did Bruno gone home? Okay, when, when we use did, this is past simple. We need to say, 
did Bruno go home? Did he go home? So this is not the case here. And has Bruno gone home? Home. This is the perfect example of present perfect. <laughs> so yeah, has Bruno gone home? I, I, I'll go with this one. Uh, is Bruno gone? It means, well, sounds strange, passive with Bruno doesn't make any sense. It means some people made him go home. Is Bruno gone home? Number seven. What TV programs does he like? Hmm. What kind? What kind of there? What kind of? I would go with what kind of? What kind of TV programs does he like? What kind of books does he like? Etc. What kind of something someone likes? Num number eight. How you do you or are you relaxed at the weekend? Uh, how you relax? How do you relax? How are you relax? How do you relax at the weekend? This is quite nice to ask. We were talking about a general situation. Usually, how do you relax? How do you relax? How do you relax at the weekend? Yeah. How do you get to the city center, for example? Or how do you get to school? How do you get to your work? Uh, number nine. Have your parents ever to Turkey? Have your parents ever gone, went or been? Of course, have your parents ever been to Turkey? Just we're talking about experience here. Whenever we talk about experience in English, we use present perfect. Have, you, have your parents ever been to Turkey? Uh, been means they, they, they have visited and they came back. Number 10. We've seen the restaurant, but we haven't there yet. Yet again, this is a perfect indication of present perfect. So we've seen the restaurant, but we haven't eaten there yet. It means that we we went to the place, but we haven't eaten there. We we didn't order any food. Number eleven, Nicole has her arm. Yeah. So here we are talking about result. This is a negative result. This is an upsetting result. Nicole has broken. This is present perfect. We have the negative result, and this result is visible right now. So this is present because right now, right now we have this unfortunate result. Number twelve. Have you had lunch today? Mm, no, I don't. No, I haven't. No, I didn't. When you have question in past present perfect, so you have to say using present perfect. But this is going to be. A short answer. Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. B. Number 13. What like for dinner today? What you would like? What would you like? What would you like for dinner today? I, I think would, would you like sounds good here because we are we're asking about preferences. What would you like to do? Where would you like to go? Uh, who do you who would you like to be? Something like this. Number 14. When go to Los Angeles? So Los Angeles is, is shortened to LA often. Uh, when first you did, you first sounds n makes no sense here. When did you first? When did you first? When did you first? Sounds amazing. When did you first? When did you first go to Los Angeles? When did you first? So they usually use like this. When did you first go to Los Angeles? Number 15. We to the theater last week. Okay, since we have last week the indication of time, when, whenever, we have, whenever we have the indication of time, two hours ago, three weeks ago, a year ago, a month ago, not recently or lately, but ago, last week, last month. So this is past simple. This is always past simple, believe me. So we went. We went. So let's choose went. We went to the theater last week. Perfect. Number number 16. Louis that films three times. Louis that films three times. Okay. Whenever we are talking about the amount of times we have done something three times, four times, etc. We use present perfect. Like, uh, Louis has seen that film three times. Or not have seen because he, she, it would be has done something. So, present perfect would be have or has, if it's the third form, has. All right. Uh, 
so Lewis has seen that film three times. Number 17, Have You in Love on Holiday. Again, we're talking about experience. XP. XP, actually. XP, don't pronounce it X. Sorry, sorry for that. XP. Experience. Have you ever fallen in love on holiday? This is experience. Experience. So, um, ever. Have you ever fallen in love on holiday? Have you fallen ever? Have you ever fallen? No. Have you ever fallen? Have you ever done this? Have you ever gone there? Pavlina, a competition before, before, so before, well, we're talking about experience here as well, so I would go for has never won, Pavlina has never won a competition before, number 19, your boyfriend met your parents, have your boyfriend, did your boyfriend, has your boyfriend, um, your boyfriend, this is singular, right, he, that's he, so we can't use have. Uh, oftentimes students put have you. They think that have you. Yes, have you. Have you, but not have you. If you have you, have you been there? Have you gone there? Yeah, that sounds fine. But if you have you, you sorry, your, you need to, you shouldn't use have. You need to use has your boyfriend. We're talking about your boyfriend. So we need to use has has your boyfriend met your parents uh, well sounds good has your boyfriend met your parents we're talking about the result has he done it yet uh, number 20 what time whenever we are we are talking about time we need to use actually not perfect we need to use past if we are talking about past what time has no it's not correct because has this is present perfect we can't use present perfect with what time remember whenever you are talking about time use you shouldn't use present perfect or any perfect tense what did the party finish uh, what time did the party finish what finished the party no uh, well what time did the party finish sounds good sounds amazing now uh, take the correct past participle past participle that's the verb three okay and usually past participle has um, can be translated as an adjective like it could be an adjective like for example drunk it could be drunk man or drunk woman drunk man okay drunk man that man is drunk um, and it could be used in present perfect I have drunk a lot of wine not true but for for the example is good swim swam swam so, of course, swim, swam, 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 that's the second form. And I need the third form, and the third form would be this one, swam. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. So, forgot, forgotten. Okay, this is not good. Forgotten, this is good. No. Okay, yeah, this is good. B was verb been. So, been is the correct one. Make, maken. <laughs> What's that? Mate, no, made. Go, went, gone. So here, it, 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 it's pretty basic stuff. You just need to use your knowledge of irregular verbs. If you don't know any of these words, I suggest that you should learn them immediately because they are very important. Uh, it's like 2 plus 2 in English. So please learn them. Use my advice, guys and learn them and by the way if you are not subscribed to my channel please do immediately and suggest it to your friends because uh, it, it would it would instigate me to continue making videos so thank you very much fly flew flown that's the third form bring brought brought this one do did done the third form past participle is this one fall fell fallen this one see saw seen this one speak spoke spoken spoken this one take took taken this one no new known this one by bought by brought <laughs> brought means bring brought brought but here we have by bought bought so this one of course and eat ate eaten eaten is this one nice nice which word is different tick a b o c ceiling kitchen dining room okay ceiling 
kitchen and dining room they are related because well we're talking about food yeah kitchen dining room but ceiling has nothing to do with food with food right shelves floor armchair shelves armchair and floor hmm. sounds sounds not quite easy so armchair this is the thing where you sit floor it's something that is everywhere in each room and armchair stay sits on the floor all right and shelves actually it could be floor uh, or it could be shelves but if it could be shelves usually armchairs in the living room and you can also find shelves in the living room and floor okay but the armchair okay i i'll go with floor i don't know why so this is a tricky one if you have your own options just write it in the comments please number 17 garage lamp cupboard hmm. garage lamp cupboard cupboard lamp it's easy peasy and garage has nothing to do with lamp or with cupboard uncle builder policeman uncle builder policeman <laughs> uncle has nothing to do with jobs because builder it's a job policeman it's a job but uncle it's not a job it's a kinship i guess number 19 go to bed wake up and want yes you go to bed then you wake up and want it's some some something different thirsty fantastic easily <laughs> <laughs> this is a tricky one fantastic easily i'm thirsty so thirsty it's an adjective this is fantastic adjective and do something how easily this is an adverb so i i would choose easily because it's an adverb uh, okay uh, which word has a different sound sounds interesting calm drunk cost here we have r here we have drunk r and cost o o coast Cost, cost, oh, cost, like this, cost, I guess, like this, cost. Uh, spent, said, been, spent, said, been. Of course, been because spent, said. I hate when my students pronounce it in the wrong way. They say said. That's not correct, guys. You need to say said, said, eh, said. Number two written five drive drove driven so written driven and here we have five so this one number three read seen here heard 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 read seen er heard this one is different fallen thought got fallen thought got so here we have all got thought for oh my goodness they sound the same fallen fallen thought got got thought fallen this is long sound i guess so this is i would go with this one fallen uh sun forgotten one sun one forgot or oh, forgotten all right and here we have the last exercise hooray so recently recent so actually it's recently recently not recently recently or recently it's recently the first syllable is stressed so let's go with this one let's put it like this recently languages 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 first syllable is stressed instrument 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 so instrument the first syllable is stressed profession professional prof, professional professional so this is professional continent 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 so the first syllable is stressed all right guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe see you later bye